You run around with losers, you will end up a loser, unconsciously. Unconsciously, you will pick up their ways, you'll pick up their habits, you'll pick up, most importantly, their attitude about life. If you're around cynical, negative people all the time, you will become cynical and negative. So you've got to watch yourself. Many of us are living out the lives of other people, living out their conclusions, living out of their consciousness. The other thing is that you begin to look at, looking at your life and looking at what it is that you want to achieve. Another crucial thing that you must do is align yourself with powerful people. Align yourself with people that can encourage you people that can empower you, people that you can learn from, people that you can grow from. You want to align yourself with people who think like you, people who dream like you, people who want more out of life, people that are stretching and searching and seeking some higher ground in life. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, Les. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. We're talking about two grown people. Somebody's got to surrender. You're talking about will now. You're talking about heart now. You're not talking about physicality. You're not talking about how you look. You're not talking about how strong you are. You're not talking about how tall you are, how fit you are. You're talking about will. You're talking about when you get to the point where it's two people and somebody got to tap out before the other person taps out. Will. Hearts. And so it is a mentality. This thing I love about Michael Jordan when Michael Jordan played. Michael Jordan had the flu. And he still put up 38 points. He played every single minute, took a break and got some Gatorade and came back, got some water, came back, right? Because he understood, I got to want this thing and I can't take a day off. Like if I don't play this playoff game, there might not be another playoff game. And so what I need you to understand when you do what you do, Listen to me, and I'm not talking about what you do there, because what you do there has absolutely nothing to do with making that person surrender. What you do there has everything to do with what time you wake up. What is it that you're doing right now that would be a liability for you? As you begin to look toward the future and take inventory of yourself, what is it about you right now that you've got to leave this behind because this no longer fits? Looking at where you want to go, and the kind of person that you must become, the kind of standards that you have for you, what is it that you must do differently? Unless you change the way you're thinking, unless you change your behavior, you're gonna to continue to produce the results in your life. See, all of us are winners, but some of us are producing results that we don't want. And so all you have to do is look at your game plan, look at your strategy. How is it that you have been being? What is it that you've been doing to produce this? So you are the director, you are the producer, you're writing the script, you're the star of your life. And as you begin to look at your life, you can decide whether or not it's a smash or whether or not it's a flop. That's in your hands. Look at your life, look at where you want to go. Don't worry about your circumstances. Don't worry about your age. You want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential. 
So you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to say yes to your dreams. Why not? Why not me? Don't spend time like most people going through life complaining. Use that energy to get up from there and move on and get on with your life. You got to learn to let the past go so you can grow. Many people never act on their dreams because they allow their past experiences to determine what their possibilities are. Whatever you've done in the past, that's not a reflection of your possibilities. That's just a reflection of your consciousness. That's just a reflection of your development and your growth. The future is unfolding for you right now. The future is unlimited for you right now. No one knows where you can go. No one knows what you're, po what you're capable of or what's possible for you. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. It has every single thing to do with nothing about this, but everything you do as you're getting prepared for that. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one-on-one, -on -one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. Nobody goes in there to lose. You both want the exact same thing. You both got family out there. You both got friends out there. You, go, you both got people who uh, invested their time and their resources and their wisdom. And their, you both got guys out there who at the end of the day want to smile. But, but, but at the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. I guarantee you that his trainer is saying he did this and he did that, he did this and he did that. I guarantee you that this person didn't just start doing this for the first time. And some of you in here, you on the upswing. Like for real, you, you, you trying to get back. You trying to get back to a certain place. You trying, trying to make a name for yourself. And I'm telling you, this is the opportunity to do it. But what do you have to do? You got to work harder than the other person. No one could have convinced me that I was able to do this. We have the power to change our personal history, changing the direction of our lives, changing our thoughts, changing where we want to go, exploring new horizons. So as you begin to look at this decade and affirming that this is your decade, as you set goals that will make you stretch, that will bring out the best in you. As you begin to remove the negative, toxic people from your life. As you decide to take some chances in life. And that's one of the things that's very important. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you said, I can, yeah, you, you got to do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting, he might just be getting in his zone. The harder you work, 
the harder it is to surrender.